Hello, my beautiful Sagittarians. How are you? It is B, and welcome to Psychic Sounds by B. Thank you so much for joining me. This reading is for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's see what we got going on with you. Thank you so much for all of the support, all of the likes, all of the shares. For those of you that wish to subscribe, please make sure you're clicking on that notification button, that little bell. Make sure that little bell is wiggling for all notifications so you'll be immediately notified when I post my videos. You do need to check on your subscription uh, from time to time. Uh, there are times where it will show that you're subscribed but you're not being notified. For others, um, you are being unsubscribed uh, possibly without your permission. So you wanna make sure that um, you are being notified when these videos get posted. I am adding uh, my slots for personal readings after I get done with this reading here. So for those of you interested in getting a reading with me, those reading slots will be posted. Those, The schedule will be up. It will be for the first, um, right around the first couple weeks of June. Okay, so let's see what we got going on with you. Please comment below if this reading resonates with you and please make sure you're sharing if this, if you feel this resonates maybe with somebody in your life that really could use some support and some information. All right, Sagittarians, let's go ahead and pray over the deck. First card, second card, third card, fourth card, fifth card, and sixth card. Okay. Okay, Sag, how are we opening up the month of June? Remember, these energies are predictive. You may be going through them now. Someone around you may be going through them now, but the energy will be around you. And... It's here to help you navigate uh, anything that might be coming up for you in the month of June. What is the first card? Ten of Swords. Well, in the month of June, uh, Sagittarius, you either are feeling a little bit under the weather. Uh, someone may have backstabbed you. Um, you just could be extremely exhausted. There could be someone around you that was backstabbed as well. This is a complete ending to a situation that had to do with maybe somebody said something to you that wasn't very nice or you said something to someone else that wasn't very nice. I am hearing for some Sages that this is interesting. It may not be be completely over and normally that's not what you get from the ten of swords upright but i am getting a little bit of a ten of swords reversed here so maybe you think something is over but it's not really over it's just there's a lot of things you don't know about the situation right now Some of you Sagittarians might be having back issues. You need to go get your back checked. This could be acupuncture as well. This could also be the realization of something that you've been doing up to this point that was not serving you. And now you're, you're in this transformation or this transition to being a completely different Sagittarius. Maybe you were doing things that were not serving your best interest or your higher interest and you're saying I'm just I'm not going to go back to being that way because it just doesn't serve me. It doesn't serve the people I love. It does not help me out in any way. So 
So I have to make some changes for the better. That's what I'm hearing. What is the next card? Six of Swords. Well, Sagittarius, uh, you are definitely traveling. You are going to a place that's a little bit more serene, a little bit more calm. You are ready to have a conversation or a discussion with someone to get away from the feeling of either being backstabbed or not being heard, not being listened to. There is a conversation coming up in the month of June, Sagittarius. And I believe this has something to do with these Ten of Swords. Now, it's so interesting. You go from the Ten to the Six of Swords. There could be four ideologies, four, four things that just don't serve you anymore. And you're going to get rid of those four things. So let's say, for example, maybe you procrastinate a little bit. Maybe you are a little bit impetuous. Maybe you say things, you know, you shouldn't say. Maybe you're changing your diet. Maybe you're eating something or doing something that just doesn't serve you. But the other six things are worth taking with you. So it's like you're getting rid of four things as you move forward. Something about the number four is coming in here. Maybe some of you Sagittarians were born on December 4th that are listening to this. So maybe this is specifically for you. But there's a sense and a feeling of moving forward with the information you have, with the lessons you've learned, and leaving those actions behind that just did not serve you and do not assist you as you're moving forward. But you're going to a place that's far more serene and calm versus where you came from. This could also be talking with yourself and overly emotional energy about your own personal thoughts, which are riling up and creating a level of disbelief or creating a level of, oh, very interesting, like it's almost torturous. It's like you're torturing yourself with, I should have done this. I should have done that. I should have done this. It's okay. You can let that go now. It is time to let it go. What is the next card? The star. Well, an Aquarian might be of great significance to you. There is a wish that is being granted. I think this wish being granted or this wish being released has everything to do with you removing those four things, whatever those four things are, and then taking those other lessons with you. And as you move on, Sagittarius, all of a sudden, because those four things are no longer there, and it may be another number, but it feels like it's four, because those four things are no longer there, all of a sudden your energetic signature is a match to this particular wish being granted. Astrology may have something to do with this as well. As you know, Pluto is now in your third house, especially if you're a first decan Sagittarius. Um, solar, because Pluto is in Aquarius. So that third house is being affected by this massive transformation that you are undergoing as it relates to the sword's energy of contracts, agreements, negotiations, short distance travel, siblings, the truth versus the lie. Have you been lying to yourself, Sages? Has someone been lying to you? This is a time to take stock. Because as you let go of maybe those words that were said to you or to another person, letting it go with love, forgiving the other person, allowing yourself to heal and move on, now that wish that you wanted to see happen is coming through. 
okay? I love that for you. There is a level of vulnerability here as well, but you know, you you've got this uh you've got this idea in your head. It's it's like damn the torpedoes, you know, feel the fear and do it anyway. I may title this feel the fear and do it anyway. I'm feeling that. Let's see what else is coming up for you. Five of Swords. Yeah, there was some sort of underhanded energy here, winning at all costs. There was a sense of someone not playing fair with you. Ooh, an agenda. Somebody had an agenda. Okay, bear with me, Sagittarius. There was someone around you, or it could be you, but I'm going to say someone around you that had an agenda, and they wanted to ride on your coattails. They wanted to get something out of it that was more than they were putting into it. There was a feeling of annoyance and frustration and telling you one thing one minute and then turning around and telling you something completely different the next minute. This is gaslighting. Somebody may have gaslighted you or gaslit you. There is information coming out. This, I mean, three swords card, this is information. And it's so interesting. Let's think about this. So from the 10 to the six is what? It's four. So you got rid of four. You took six with you. Someone else is taking the five. That leaves you with the Ace of Swords. Sagittarius, are you on a journey of truth or is someone around you on a journey of truth to achieve a victory in the face of adversity? Let's keep going. The High Priestess comes in and says, I am not going to speak about this. I'm not going to talk about this. I don't want to talk about this. I'm being silent for now. Sag is you're looking for answers. from someone that holds the answers. Sages, are you the one with the agenda? Oh dear. That was a confirm. Sages, are you holding the agenda? Are you trying to get into someone's space to prove your victory, to prove you were right. Or is someone trying to get into your sphere, your space to prove they were right? Oh dear, could go either way. Could go either way, Sages. This could also be silence and not revealing a secret as it relates to any type of underhanded deal or underhanded communication. This might be a little bit tricky, Sages. Hmm. Let's keep going. This could be an Aquarius or a Pisces as well. 
four of cups. You're waiting. Someone is waiting for a response. Someone is waiting for some sort of movement forward. Sages, share your story if you feel comfortable doing so, but someone is awaiting a response. They're bored. They want to They want to get a move on. They want to go. They want to experience. They want to live. They want to have joy. They want to have emotional stability. But there's someone here that's preoccupied by the spoken word, by the contract, by the agreement, by the negotiation. You're going to be hearing from them. You are. But... It's like there's a delay or it's there's a disturbance in the force. And somebody might be picking up on it. I might call this a disturbance in the force. Now, the way this looks to me is the reason this, this wish is, is kind of in, in the suspended state is because someone is not approaching something through true love, through the heart space. They're approaching it so that they can win. There's an agenda. Is that you, Sag? Is that someone else around you? Who's picking this up? Who all of a sudden got quiet? Who all of a sudden just got busy and, and consumed by the Three of Cups? Who's waiting for the right moment? Whoever that is, they're picking up on something they don't even know they're picking up on. Very interesting. Wow, Sages, your reading was profound. So Sages, if something happens in June, which I think it will significantly, my only advice and this is what I'm getting through a download here. My only advice to you is approach it with a pure heart. Do not approach it with an agenda. No matter what you do, it'll backfire. Because either universe is protecting someone or they're protecting you. It's one of the two. Yes. That just flipped over. Someone is protecting you, or, or the universe is protecting you or someone else from this get together, this meeting, because someone has an agenda. Someone's being protected here. There's a disturbance in the force. Because universe is coming in and saying, nope. Nope, nope, not yet. Not yet. It's We're not in alignment yet. We're almost there. We're almost there. It's almost there. But we're not there just yet. Let's find out why the Ten of Swords is here and the Five of Swords is here. Remember, if these Oracle cards come in reversed, I will also read them upright because Oracle cards are not really meant to be read reversed, but I will read them reversed if they come up reversed and upright. I don't do it for these because these are meant to come in reversed or upright, but the Oracle cards are different. This is why the Ten of Swords is here. And this is why the Five of Swords is here. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Why is this ending? Oh my gosh, motives. What did I say? 
Someone has an agenda. Someone has an ulterior motive. That's why this can't proceed. You know, Sages, when people, when people evolve, when they go through their evolution and their energetic signature changes, they are no longer a match for what they were surrounded by in the past. So those things just kind of slowly fall away. Kind of like these four swords here. They're just falling away because they're no longer a match. But there are six swords that are a match. The issue with this expression is that they, they're expressing themselves as the five of swords, winning at all costs. There's an agenda. There's a disturbance in the force. Somebody's energetic signature is changing. Is it yours? Is it somebody else's? Because there's no longer a match here. Why is the five of swords here? Taken for granted. Were you taken for granted, Sag? Or was someone else taken for granted? <clears throat> Did you take someone for granted? Because someone was taken for granted, there's a feeling of retribution and wanting to get back at somebody else. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because someone was taken for granted, there was getting back at somebody at all costs, winning at all costs. Is it taking a friendship for granted? Is it taking a relationship for granted? Profound, Sagittarius, profound. Now, I'll say this, Sag, let's look at this from the perspective of there being a disturbance in the force. So if someone around you is, is doing this to you, then you're picking up on it. You're intuitively picking up on it. This could also be if there is any negative energy, if there is any bad I don't want to say bad energy, but ill wishes towards anyone, retribution, revenge, anything like that towards anyone. There's a disturbance in the force. Perhaps they're picking up that you know. Whoa. I can't take advantage of Sagittarius anymore. I can't use Sagittarius anymore. They're not falling for it anymore. What's going on, Sag? What's your major arcana for the month of June 2023? That's your major arcana. The Hermit. This has to do with the Virgo, Sag. Sag, are you trying to get information about a Virgo? On a Virgo. Somebody's not letting something go. This is what's happening here. Somebody didn't let something go. The agenda is to find something out about somebody else. And as that energy starts coming in, someone's picking up on it. 
and they are realizing that they may be getting used or taken for granted. Investigation, research, sequestering yourself, looking deeper into a situation, being of service to others, physician energy, physicians looking for answers, being a good advisor. Maybe somebody's looking for advice from you or you're looking for advice from somebody else. But I'll say this, Sag, if you have an ulterior motive, you will be found out. If someone around you has an ulterior motive, they will be found out because there's a disturbance in the force and someone is, someone is very sensitive here. Could be an Aquarius or a Pisces. Definitely Aquarian energy is coming in. And so, or even a Virgo. So there's a disturbance in the force and they're picking up on it. Could be you. Wow. Let's see what your advice is. What's your advice, Sag? Share your voice. Come out of the cave. Persecution and expression. Have you been persecuted? Has someone been getting persecuted by you? This might be a tell all this might be Sagittarius where you blow the whistle you reveal everything you have something to say Sag if you've been hiding something about this energy going on around you, you may come clean or you may be the one that is revealing this energy. So if it's you, you're coming clean. If it's someone else, you've got intel. You've got the goods. Also, just speak up for yourself. If you feel like you're being taken for granted, manipulated, um, your mind is being messed with, speak up. That's the advice. All right, Sages, that's what I've got for you for the month of June 2023. Um, members, stay tuned. Your reading is coming up next. Much light, much love, many blessings, and catch you on the flip side.